Hello everyone, my name is Tina Mathur. I am an assistant professor in Biani Girls College. Today I would like to deliver a lecture on the topic ratio analysis. I am continuing with the last class. Today we were going to study on the topic leverage or capital structure ratios. These ratio actually determines or judge the long term solvency position of a company that whether the company is financial sound or not. So the first ratio is debt equity ratio. Its formula is total debt means total liabilities of the company divided by shareholders funds which are net worth. Shareholders funds include share capital and reserve and surplus plus profit and loss account. Its ideal ratio is 1 is to 1. It determines that whether the company is able to pay its long term liabilities and short term liabilities. Debt equity ratio determines that whether the firm is able to pay its total debts, its total liabilities or not. Its ideal ratio is 1 is to 1. And our next ratio is proprietary ratio. Its formula is proprietor's fund divided by total assets. While calculating total assets, we do not include factitious assets like preliminary expenses, uh, like discount on issue of shares, intangible assets like uh, patent, like goodwill, which uh, whose realizable value is zero, and non-trading investment. Proprietary ratio is calculated to know that to what extent proprietors fund or shareholders fund are invested in financing the total assets of the company. Our next ratio is solvency or debt to total asset ratio. Its formula is total liabilities divided by total asset. This ratio determines to what extent total assets are being financed from total loans. And next ratio is capital gearing ratio. Its formula is variable cost bearing capital divided by fixed cost bearing capital. It actually expresses a relationship between variable cost and fixed cost capital. Variable cost include equity shareholder funds because equity shareholders fund they don't have a fixed rate of dividend. It actually depends on the profit of the company. Fixed cost bearing capital means debentures and preference share capital because these uh, capital includes fixed rate of interest and preference share include a fixed share of. Our next ratio is capital gearing ratio. Its formula is variable cost bearing capital divided by fixed cost bearing capital. Variable cost means equity shareholder funds because they don't have a fixed rate of dividend divided by debentures plus preference share capital. Debentures and preference share capital are the fixed cost bearing capital because they have a fixed rate of interest debentures and preference share capital they have a fixed rate of dividend. So capital gearing ratio it expresses the relationship between variable cost bearing capital and fixed cost bearing capital.